area right now, a little bit of drizzle out there. With temperatures below freezing, there could be a few slippery sidewalks, so be cautious. Here's what we have to look forward to as we head through the overnight hours. The storm timeline starts tonight overnight. We'll have freezing precipitation in the form of rain, freezing rain, and snow developing out to the west. It moves into our southern and western counties first as freezing rain. Then snow develops as we go through the day. One to five inches of accumulation across our viewing area. Could be our single largest snow producer in Fargo. We've yet to see a one-inch system make its way through. Snow will be ending by the early afternoon hours in Fargo, but then the cold wind takes hold. And now a look at what's going on right now, 22 Fargo. Well, the light winds right now under cloudy skies in Grand Forks, it's 12 degrees and a little bit of light snow being reported out at the airfield there. Now, as we take a look region-wide, 17 for Jamestown and a cool 14 in Devil's Lake, where we see the pink colors here, that's the pool of cool. 12 in Grand Forks, as mentioned, Thief River Falls warmer, and it gets warmer still out in Lakes Country with 27s in Fergus Falls and Detroit Lakes. The real warmth, though, out in Montana and Wyoming, where we have 50s, 45 in the Black Hills right now, but look at the mixed bag of precipitation out in the Big Sky Country, shifting over the state line into the oil patch, and we have some sleet, we have some freezing rain working its way into the valley tonight, and bands of heavy snow where you see the deep blues and white just to the north of Glasgow. This will all be shifting eastward overnight. Let's pay attention to the hour-by-hour -hour forecast. First and foremost tonight, we have haze and low clouds and a little bit of mist out there. Watch for an, uh, an isolated slippery spot or two this evening, but by and large, temperatures will be falling early this evening and then rising towards 10 o'clock. We'll be in the same ballpark at 10 o'clock as we are right now, teens and 20s. While the freezing rain and rain moves along Interstate 94 up north near Highway 2, snow develops, and watch what happens overnight. Slowly moves. Jamestown, Stutzman County, also Barnes County in southeast North Dakota have a shot at getting some freezing rain overnight. This is paused at 140. Snow will be moving along Highway 200 and a Highway 2. And as we go through the rest of the overnight, this band of freezing precipitation comes into southeast North Dakota and the I-94 corridor. And I've paused it here before daybreak to point this out. Here is Fargo. Here is the rain, freezing rain line. That's about 30 miles difference. Be sure to tune in again tonight on Valley News Live at 10 o'clock for the very latest model run, and we'll have some new measurements from the upper atmosphere. Any shift in this storm's track could put some freezing rain up into Fargo or into Valley City. But right now, it looks like all snow from Interstate 94 and north, from Highway 10 and north, and down to the south, a mixed bag of precipitation that by daybreak will be changing over to mostly snow. Look at our temperatures warming overnight, southeasterly winds to start the day. Snow is out of Fargo by midday and moving into Lakes Country where it gets heavy. See the deep blues and the purples from Bemidji down towards Wadena and Brainerd. Then it's out of here. Wind shifts directions, becomes very gusty in the afternoon after peaking near 30 degrees. The wind tugs down some teens and even 20s for the evening with a gust of 41 miles per hour possible into the latter portion of the day. It looks like the best chance for real accumulations of two to six inches of snow will be from Bemidji to Wapiton and Brainerd. Fergus Falls and look at Fargo could pick up one to three inches of snowfall with the best chance for icing very close to Fargo, Moorhead, Wapiton, Breckenridge, Lisbon, and Oaks. We'll have an update for you tonight at 10. But right now, it's, as it stands, a winter weather advisory for almost all of our counties, freezing rain where you see the pink. And here's a look at your planning forecast. 30s for tomorrow afternoon at 5 o'clock. Gusty north winds. Snow ending across the entire region. Besides, there will be some blowing snow. 20s and even teens up in northeast North Dakota for your Friday afternoon. Glorious shot. Thanks again, Tracy, for sharing this beautiful sun uh, shot with us. A lot of high clouds out there. And we'll see a lot of flaky clouds out there tomorrow. Cold on Wednesday. Falling from 14 at midnight. And then as we head toward the latter portion of the week, a little warm up to seasonable for Friday. Oh, a little bit less than lovely uh, temperatures on Saturday for Valentine's Day. 12 degrees, but at least your chocolates won't melt, oh, Mike. No. Thank you. Good. Yes. Thanks, Ange. Later in sports, don't count the wild out just yet. They just might fight their way to the playoffs. And up next, big day for those who like Mexican food. Tonight's